Hello, welcome. In this video, I will discuss the statistical properties of maximum likelihood estimates of parameters of a normal random process. The first one is that the maximum likelihood estimate of the mean is a unbiased estimate of the mean. That is, expected value of mu ml minus the real mu that is the real mean is zero. So this is our first. The second one is the bias of maximum likelihood estimate of the variance is non-zero. In other words, the maximum likelihood estimate of the variance is a bias estimate. Now consider the first problem. By definition, the ML estimate of mean is the standard arithmetic mean, sorry, the expected value of the average of n values minus mu, which is equal to 1 by n, summation n equal to 1 to n, expected value of x of n, xn minus and expectation of mu is still mu. Therefore, this is 1 by n, n times mu minus mu is 0. Hence, the maximum likelihood estimate of a, the mean is the is a unbiased estimate. Now, we discuss the second property. That is, the maximum likelihood estimate of the variance is a biased estimate. Now, consider the expectation of the sigma square ml, which is the maximum likelihood estimate of variance. Expectation of sigma square ml. Now, by definition, sigma square ml, in a pre as we derived in the previous video, is given by 1 by n, summation n equal to 1 to n, xn minus mu ml whole square. So, expectation of sigma square ml becomes 1 by n expectation of sum of sum from n equal to 1 to n xn minus mu ml whole square. Since expectation and summation are linear operators, we have 1 by n summation n equal to 1 to n expectation of x n square plus mu m l square minus 2 times x n multiplied by mu m l. Hence, this expectation has three terms which can be written as 1 by n summation n equal to 1 to n expectation of xn square plus expectation of mu ml square minus 2 times expectation of the product of xn and mu ml. Now, we derive these three terms separately. Now, we evaluate these three terms separately. The first one is expectation of xn square which is equal to mu square plus sigma square. This is from the this is from my previous video. The second term is expectation of mu ml square which is equal to expectation of 1 by n square summation m equal to 1 to n summation k equal to 1 to n xn xm xk. Since expectation is a linear operator, we have summation m and summation k. The expectation can be taken inside, that is, ex expectation of xm and times xk. And from the previous video, we already established that 
expectation of xm times xk is equal to mu square plus i m k sigma square. That is, we have summation, double summation for m and k multiplied by n of the term x mu square plus i m k sigma square. The first term is actually equal to m square times mu square because there are n square terms here. And here uh, we know that i m k is equal to one only for m is equal to m equal to k and zero for m not equal to k. So if you if you use this value in this summation, you get only n times sigma square since there are only n non-zero terms here. Excuse me. We have mu square plus one by n sigma square. Now consider the third term, which is expectation of x n multiplied by mu m l. Which can be defined as expectation of x n multiplied by summation m equal to one to n x m divided by one by n. Since this is a the maximum likelihood estimate of the mean. So this becomes 1 by n and we take expectation. We take summation outside, we have m equal to 1 to n expectation of xn multiplied by xn, which is again 1 by n multiplied by n times mu square plus i n m sigma square. Again, i n m is the similar to i m k we discussed before. Again, this can be evaluated as follows. 1 by n summation m equal to 1 to n and since expectation of x n times x m is mu square plus i n m multiplied by sigma square where i n m equal to 1 for n equal to m and 0 for n not equal to m. So if you substitute this value in this uh, summation, we get 1 by n, n times mu square plus just sigma square. Since uh, it is going to be 1 only for n equal to m or m equal to n and 0 for the rest of the values. So again, we have mu square plus sigma square by n. Now finally, using all the terms in the, we have 1 by n times summation n equal to 1 to n and then we have the result from the first term that is mu square plus sigma square and thus next is the result from the second term that is mu square plus sigma square by n and finally we have the result from the third term which is 2 times mu square plus sigma square by n. Now this is basically summation, uh, 1 by n times summation. If you see the mu square terms cancel out and we have 3 sigma square terms which is basically equal to sigma square times 1 minus 1 by n. And since this term is independent of small n, we have n by n times sigma square into 1 by 1 minus n. 1 minus 1 by n. Therefore, expectation of the likelihood estimate of sigma square, maximum likelihood estimate of sigma square is equal to 1 minus 1 by n into sigma square. Therefore, the bias is expectation of sigma square ml minus sigma square equals 1 by n sigma square, which is not equal to 0. Hence, the maximum likelihood estimate of variance is a biased estimate. Thanks for watching.